Hello everyone and welcome back to Coffee Mug. I'm Elzetta and I'm here today with my wonderful co-host Carly Griffiths. How are you today? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. So, today, no disclaimer, no... Hooray! <laughs> yeah, no, nothing like that. Um, this potentially is our final podcast produced in Summer Valley FM. Just clarify them. Uh, yeah, maybe not our final podcast completely. Don't worry, we won't be running away for too long. But definitely our final podcast. Yeah. Yeah, we are deciding to take a break. And uh, for multiple reasons, which we're going to explain in this episode. And just like we're hoping that this time you're going to have the chance to see how we've grown from our first episode till our last so one of the reasons why we're ending this is our mental health and how ironic (laughs) yeah literally and this is something that comes first at this point we say that all the time this series and we mention that you come first just take care of yourself and then it's our turn and we don't do that Yeah, well, guys, we need to start taking care of ourselves. I'm not sure if you've known, but, like, we've been in uni, we've been doing work, we've been doing lots of things behind our podcast. Yeah. Uh, We love everything we do. Don't get that wrong. We love this podcast so much. But it's got to the point now where um, we're sort of neglecting our own needs and neglecting our own mental health and sort of trying to ignore it, trying to push it back, like, to the back of our mind. Whereas I I think... We need to take this time now, now university sort of finishing for the year, uh, just to look after ourselves a bit more. Yeah, exactly. And now things are back open and we're both working. Would you like to share what, what you're doing, like, apart from the podcast? Because we never share this part of our lives. No, guys, I actually feel like you don't know me very well and that makes me a little sad. <laughs> so let's introduce myself actually let's do this so i'm carly i am 21 years old i am a media communication student at basketball university so that involves uh, doing lots and lots of essays lots of design aspects like on photoshop and illustrator uh, which are drawing and editing packages and then even going to a different like side of media and editing videos and podcasts and stuff like that So it's a lot involved. And then, as well as uni, I um, work at a bowling alley. I'm a receptionist there. And I do that almost every day. (laughs) Um, Now, especially now I'm back in work. Um, And then I also try and juggle little um, apprenticeships and little things online just to help me progress my future. And just keep me in a creative mindset, not just a bowling alley one. (laughs) See, when I say that my co-host is very, very talented, I am not lying. Look oh, at you. Oh, stop it. But you, on the other hand, you are also amazing and very talented. Let's share a bit about you. Oh, my God. I Okay. Even though I like talking about myself generally, when it comes to this kind of talking about myself, I get very frustrated. Fact file time. Go. <laughs> okay. So, um, I am a creative media student at Boxford University. But for this semester, since February, I have been doing a ritual exchange with Bennington College in Vermont. It's virtual. I'm not there. That's but the sad, university guys. is in Vermont. <laughs> for the people who don't know, that's in America. <laughs> yeah. And like all my classes are five hours ahead. And I finish uh, in the middle of the night. And then I have to study. Um, at the same time, we're doing the radio station. I am doing an internship with Global Poetics Project, which is associated with Carolina University, but (laughs) who cares? And then I am also working in a magazine called Fully Grown, which is based in Bath, and I write articles there. And did I forget anything? I don't think so. Oh, and I work as a bar staff in a pub in Bath. So it's been quite busy this is one busy busy girl <laughs> like she's always got something going on she is brilliant Stop it again. <laughs> the thing is is though um saying all that and actually addressing what i'm doing in my life um it's bringing me back this um 
I had like a sort of argument with a friend of mine a few weeks ago mm-hmm. and she texted me because I'm a horrible texter and I've mentioned that before. She is the worst. You text her on a Thursday evening and she doesn't text back till the following Thursday morning. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hi, Alyssa. You don't have to go for me so hard. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I am a really bad texter because I forget. And I will, like, I don't know how it happens. I just, like, I look at my phone, I see the text, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna respond later. And later is like, next week. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, she's so busy. I don't know how she keeps up with texting at all. So we need to give her credit there. Thank you. But I had this argument and uh, I have deleted my social um, apps from my phone. So, um, I log in from a computer. I don't use my phone. Like, I only have Messenger for, like, texting you or my housemates. And maybe my parents. I don't even have time to talk with my parents. And I had this argument, long story short, and I explained to her, to my friend, that I'm busy and I'm doing these things and my mental health is not very well. And she was like, oh, I understand now why you are ignoring, like, the messages and everything. And I'm sorry that I put you in this position to try for you to explain yourself. And there's so many people right now that I haven't talked to in months because I haven't responded to the messages. And I will respond to them as soon as I finish university and everything that I'm doing right now, which is probably next week. Hopefully, everything will be fine. Fingers are crossed. (laughs) Yeah. And my question is, do we really need to, like, explain ourselves 100%? Like, be like, I'm doing this, this, and that. I'm very stressed. I'm very sad right now. And I really don't have the emotional capacity to do and and talk about it. Because whenever I have to be honest and explain to everyone, oh, I'm doing five things. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. It's just like... It brings me to tears and I cannot explain. So mm-hmm. whenever I text someone, I'm very, like, a dry texter. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. How are you? And, like, I don't want to talk about my situation. No. But the question is, should you explain yourself? You mean, like, if you don't reply today, should you say, I'm so sorry I didn't reply because of X, Y, and Z? Yeah, and yeah. explain that I am not okay. Then, I'm, I'm not fine. No. <laughs> if you don't want to explain that, if you don't want to be like, this is me and this is me, like, showing myself to you, and you don't want to do that to that person, you're mm. um, guarded when it comes to that person, you shouldn't have to open that door and make yourself feel bad or feel insecure just for them. They're not getting anything out of it apart from an explanation. Yeah. But at the same time... I'm scared that I'm gonna seem like a horrible human being. Yeah, no, I completely understand because I'm such a, I'm such a yes person. Like, if someone texts me and they're like, can you pick me up in 10 minutes? Even if I'm, like, 10, 20 miles away, I'll be like, yeah, I can. (laughs) And it's hard, right? You can't give yourself to everyone. But I think you also shouldn't have to say, oh, you shouldn't have to worry that you're gonna lose friends or lose people or look bad if you haven't got the time to do things for them. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's advice I'm giving you that I probably need to take myself to. But I really do think that maybe there's a way that we can start only in the whole no situation. Or they're just not replying. Yeah. You just don't have time. If you're, in, if you're doing a 12-hour shift and you're not allowed your phone on you, that's not your fault that you didn't reply. And it should be the same if you're doing back-to-back uni work, then work, and then an internship all at the same time that is not your fault yeah at all thank you so much i really like i always have this question and i always wonder if not responding is a good thing or not and Mm -hmm. i'm i'm very scared of people judging me i i literally i'm not lying to you because i felt so bad after that text that i got from my friend I wrote an apology. Felt like a YouTuber, man. I was like, I'm a YouTuber now. Um, I'm gonna just gonna write down an apology. I really, I wrote an a paragraph, not addressing what I'm doing, but I was like, I know many people are offended by the fact that I don't respond to messages, and I just want to say that uh, at this point of my life, I'm very busy, and my emotional health comes first, and not responding to messages is my way of coping. Keep, yeah, yeah, and being balanced and not mm-hmm. overworking myself. Because I literally, I remember 
I don't know why we got, went social media, just like it's something about addressing what we're doing and it's something that I I find very interesting generally to pay attention to. Mm-hmm. Um, and w- I remember one day I re-downloaded Instagram on my phone and I started responding to like, I had 15 messages and I responded to them and peop- some people were like, they confronted me and they were like, what, what's this shit? Why are you doing this? And I'm like, um, I'm sorry, I'm just busy. And honestly, I didn't mean the sorry. I'm just going to say that. I didn't mean it. I just said it because they wanted to hear that. Mm-hmm. And because I knew they were being mad at me. But at the end of the day, I ended up like crying because so many people like came for me. <laughs> but they all confronted the fact that you were in there. Yeah. And I felt horrible. And that is that. It's just that. I wish people, I wish my friends could listen to this podcast and understand that this is nothing personal. It's absolutely not personal. Yeah, no, definitely. It's definitely not a them problem or maybe more of a a worry for you. But at the same time, that's okay. Like, Mm. you are so, so busy right now. But, But saying that, people just need to understand. People need to give people a break. Internet. People will not always fix their phone or not always on the internet. And even if they are always on the internet for other things like work, we've just come out of a pandemic. Everything is virtual right now. If they says you're online on Facebook 10 minutes ago, it might just be that the app's up on a different tab. That's not your fault and you're not ignoring them. And even if you do have time to have a quick scroll through Facebook, chances are you're only on there two, three minutes. Please, please, please don't feel bad for that because you've done nothing wrong. Thank you. Um, and just like, I feel like uh, addressing that because I feel like many people out there are going to relate to that. Oh, definitely. And feel, and I know you you have a similar mm-hmm. problem. Um, yeah, but like on another note, we just like want to address how things are when we record things and how we produce this kind of content. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been, it's, this has been a challenge. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you guys knew, but we like sort of graduated from the training suite a couple months ago. So when we came back, um, so let's start from the beginning. So originally we were in sort of like a little training area, which had like a really weird big desk. Um, it didn't have very good microphones. I had a table, I had random computers in. It was more like a classroom, like a little Literally. mock radio classroom. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden they were like, you know what, guys? You can go upstairs. And we were like, oh my god, we're going upstairs. Yes, baby. And it felt amazing until we got upstairs. And then, do you, do you want to explain? Um, yeah, so we were so excited to be upstairs. We're like, yes, we're professionals now. We are here. <laughs> we're doing it. We have our own studio. We do. And as soon as we started recording, this kind but annoying man besides our studio blast music i don't know if we can, you can hear right now wait yeah you can enjoy we'll that. leave this little section in yeah yeah just like a, i i cut them out whenever i edit the podcast it's just like a pain i was had to spend so much time cleaning this crap up <laughs> just trying to clean the audio just trying to clean the background i i'm not succeeding to that I remember we did, um, last week, Mental Health Awareness Week, Mm -hmm. um, we did, like, this special for Summer Valley FM, and, uh, Dom Chambers wanted to use our audio in, like, live radio, and uh, we edited it, and everything's fine, and at some point, we just, like, we're talking about mental health and nature, and you can hear, like, Nirvana blasting in the background, (laughs) dude, and it's just, like, I mean, ironic, but, um, very interesting, and I was like, okay, I hope whoever is listening they don't actually pay attention to the music in the background (laughs) which is very difficult not to um but it was like a a real challenge Mm -hmm. here and and this doesn't happen just once guys it happens weekly like it happens right now (laughs) yeah i mean since we started doing like this this podcast about generally talking about mental health and educational yeah, so that's content. sort of at the time where we moved upstairs. Mm-hmm. So it was sort of like, um, yeah. Because yeah. they started taking us more seriously, but that's the tea. Ooh. Oh, so Hot. actually, guys, let's just delve into this. 
we're leaving the podcast as well as to make ourselves a bit happier we're also leaving to feel like because we want to feel sort of appreciated without feeling like uh little girls (laughs) exactly um we have this problem for quite a while now um we understand we are students but that doesn't make us any less of humans but also we are adults yeah i mean we're not being treated like adults literally oh can i also add that most of the people here are absolutely amazing it's just one or two people we have um problem with a little bit of a problem with yeah yeah just like you know bum heads every now and then a Mm. little bit and uh we would like this not to happen because um it's not good it's not good and that (laughs) is also having a like a detrimental impact on our mental health yeah so i think just everything's added up and everything's a bit crazy Mm. but like also at the same time we can't thank some of Valley FM enough. Like they've they've helped us in a lot. Literally, and we are very very grateful for being here right now. Mm-hmm. Like we don't we don't want to seem ungrateful. We we love the people here. We and, love being here. Yeah, and we love this opportunity that we're given, and we're more than grateful uh, for Do- Dom Chambers for yeah. and Sue Sue Wicks here. Sue yeah. is amazing. Sue, Sue and Dom Roberts, have yeah. been here since we've started. We've been here nearly two years now, guys, which is crazy. Yeah, insane. But, yeah. And we're so grateful for everyone. And it's just that I we feel like our time has come to an end. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, I feel like instead of people being like, oh, no, like, oh, just mad at us. I feel like just support us because we are hoping to do bigger and better things. We're on a roll here. We're going to try our best. But we're going to be here for you guys. <laughs> please, please, please don't think we're going away. I just want you to know that we are here. We are here to stay. Just not in our current for, like way of working. Yeah. We just need a a break. A pause. Definitely. And uh, just to take care of ourselves, basically. Yeah, 100%. Um, we're going to talk now, actually, about... like. Well, a bit lighter. We'll talk about more our support network and how how we are coping with some things. Mm-hmm. Um, just to yeah, just to for you to know more about how we deal with our stuff and if people are here for us. So, because it's it's okay, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Everyone goes through some things, and we're going through some things right now. But we're just showing you that everybody does. <laughs> everybody does, and it's okay to talk about it, share it, mm-hmm. um, because. That was our main concept, basically. Talk mm-hmm. about mental health. And at the, the end of the day, we don't talk about mental health. We don't talk about our mental health at all, no. Yeah. It's very much... We originally, when we first came here, we wanted to talk about how mental health is this, this is our relationship with mental health, and this is what we think we people could do um, to help. And also, here's just a really nice place to come and have a chat. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it sort of transitioned into more of an educational thing, which originally we were on board with, but we did lose the whole this. <laughs> we did lose the chat. Yeah, there wasn't like any personality. No. It was very much like, here's what the NHS says, here's what mine says about this, and here's this information said a little bit differently on mm-hmm. our podcast. But since we started them, they started taking us seriously. So basically we have to kill our own personality to actually be noticed <laughs> exactly and just create something it wasn't like our own i just like i feel like it was an idea that we had and i remember when i mentioned that at the beginning and someone was like very excited about it but it's just like it lost a lot of our us. yeah it lost us <laughs> it, had, yeah. it had like literally nothing you could find the same information we're just like you, you could put siri to read the whole nhs website and you'll hear exactly the same information yeah not, not the... to not to talk mm. badly about our show but no no no. and we are really proud of the work we've put in we've had to put hours of research into the show mm-hmm. but at the same time we feel we lost our spark that we originally that was driving us originally to complete this podcast yeah to go through this journey through the podcast yeah to be more us we lost we lost the personality and we gained the formality um i don't know that wasn't us that wasn't the podcast we were originally going for and it wasn't the it's not the podcast we want now 
Yeah, exactly. I agree with you. And uh, I don't know. Let's see where this journey takes us. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we'll go. What we're gonna do. We have time to think. We're yeah, gonna definitely. like have summer to focus more on us. Focus more on what we want to do in the future. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> But also, guys, I just realized, I just said this, but it's going to be a bit more positive, so <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> and we're just going to maybe talk about our own coping mechanism. I'm not sure if you guys hear that. <laughs> I think I'm not going to edit that episode too much, just like, I, I want to be honest with people and see, like, what we are going through. I think so, I hope you guys don't mind. It's actually quite funny, but at the same time, like, because it happens all the time, it's a bit stressful and a bit annoying. Well, very stressful and very annoying. Yeah, and also, I just, like, I want to mention something before we go to coping mechanism about our target audience. Mm -hmm. So, we have this conversation a lot, and, you know... It's been a interesting ride here, like, doing everything that we're doing. And we want to thank the four monthly listeners that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so nice. It's just, like, we really, really appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love you. We're Thank sending you. you so many virtual hugs. I was wondering, actually, guys, if you please try and reach out to us. Maybe not even personally. Maybe just follow us on Instagram. See what we're doing. So mine is Carly Jean 99 and Alizetta is... Alizetta. Alizetta. With double I. Double I. Um, because we don't want to lose you guys. We do really want you. And if you give us a private message and just say, I want to listen to this. Or this is what I want. Even on Coffee Mag um, podcast. Um... Just so we know what you guys actually appreciate from us and, and what you guys want to listen to. Some feedback. We would really appreciate it. You don't have to. But oh, no, no, no. If, this if isn't you a, want to. This isn't, yeah, this isn't a must. This is a, if you have some time in your day, because I'm sure you realise now that we don't, so yeah. we understand if you don't too. Yeah. But um, please just, please just reach out. It'll be yeah. great. And just like, thank you so much again. Yeah, thank we you. We really appreciate you and... We weren't expecting to have any listeners at the end of the day. No, but we weren't. And you guys will just keep coming up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, going to the coping mechanism. Yes. <laughs> so coping mechanisms is something that we spoke about on this channel a couple of times. Well, actually a lot of times. We usually some certain coping mechanisms up weekly. But we have had an actual podcast episode on coping mechanisms. Um, which I actually enjoyed that one. Yeah. That was quite early on in our podcast journey, actually, guys. But it was it was good. Um, how do you how do you personally cope with things? Can I be one hundred percent honest? Do it. One hundred percent. Nobody's gonna come for me, right? Nobody's gonna come for you. Okay. Um, lots of coffee. <laughs> lots of coffee. I love oat milk latte Ooh. so much. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a white girl. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> um so yeah i just like oat milk latte lots of youtube i watch so much youtube um <laughs> especially true crime uh one of my favorite channels right now is bailey sarian i don't know if you mm. know her she does like i think if you heard of it yeah um murder mystery and makeup and she Ooh. just like she does her makeup while saying a true crime story and she's amazing she has she has more personality in her little finger than i have in my whole body so it's insane um i love her so much I totally recommend it if you like true crime and makeup. She does it, she, just to clarify, she does it because she wants to be busy. But um, lots of YouTube, music, singing very, very loud, <laughs> um, doing lots of yoga. Oh, yeah, um, you do like yoga. Yeah, but like, I don't, lately I don't have much time to do that or whatever. I'm trying my best, trying my best. Mm -hmm. um, lately, my obsession is... Um, don't look at my face, Carly, because you can see me now. Um, I like doing my makeup a lot. Like, I wake up and my joy is to make coffee and do my makeup. Like, mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I'm not the best at it, but it's something that gives me joy in the morning. It makes me feel beautiful and happy and, like, taking care of my skin. And, yeah, I totally recommend it. Even if you don't wear makeup, have a nice skin routine. It's gonna make your life so much better. What else do I do? Sometimes I... When I first started the the podcast, I mentioned that I liked painting. And oh, and your little notepad yeah, had a pink flower yeah. on it. You remember it? Oh my god, it's so cute. 
thank you <laughs> i really appreciate it but yeah i used to like painting i still do i don't have time mm-hmm. and i don't have resources any... <laughs> yeah exactly at this point so i like put a pause on that mm-hmm. but basically what i do is that i really have time to do nothing else mm-hmm. I, I used to oh during lockdown i'm gonna mention that i'm gonna pass it on to you mm-hmm. uh, during the lockdown i used to go on walks every oh, day i love walking literally like i had free time more free time than i have now and uh we would uh go with my housemates or alone i would just like i started going around the block of our house but then it started like going more and more. So every night, like around eight or nine o'clock, I would just like start working, walk, not working, walking in Bath. And I would go to the center and then I would just like go around and above the city. And then I started like grabbing my housemates at the same time because they really in- like I told them, oh, my God, I'm so happy afterwards. Like I'm so I'm feeling so much better. So I used to go like on walks and at one night with my housemate, Despina, we we walked in all the crescents in Bath. So we walked through all of them. We started at 9 o'clock at night and we came back home at 1 a.m. And we walked all of them. Guys, if you're ever in Bath and if you are in Bath, just do it. It's one of the most beautiful things ever, especially at night. And you can see the whole Bath like lit up and it's gorgeous gorgeous and uh, or you can go to alexandra park which is equally gorgeous mm-hmm. so oh actually guys the crescents there are like houses which are built in semicircles oh, yes, okay. yeah <laughs> just so people who don't know and they're like blotted all around bath <laughs> like there's there's a lot of them isn't there because mm-hmm. we've got a couple like right up on top of some hills some hidden like just outside the city center one is in the city center and it's just really They're strange. They're around, like, yes. if you, we just happened to come across them. Mm-hmm. So we started with the main crescent in the center of Bath. Yeah. And then it started, like, London Road, and, mm-hmm. like, it, it goes up. And if you go through that ro- road, you will find, like, the rest of the crescents. Because the, if you find one, you'll find the rest of oh, them. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, and it's so worth it. Beautiful. Oh. Bath is so majestic bath is beautiful yeah what about you what are your coping mechanisms Carly? so i equally love walking mm-hmm. i didn't walk as much as you but i did go for like at least three really long walks a week that is amazing um because that's what i wanted to do i actually started outdoor swimming outdoor outdoor swimming so i went lake swimming no so way. in bath there's this weir it's called woolly weir and woolly weir like you can go um like it's been like the water's tested regularly like people know it's safe to swim okay. in there um and i was like you know what it's it's the winter but i'm gonna go swimming because <laughs> i'm not sure if you guys know but at the start of the podcast i think i mentioned that i love swimming yeah i swim as regularly as i can i swim twice a week now because i'm very busy <laughs> um so i Obviously. but i used to go yeah so in lockdown because i had le- a lot less to do i'd go outdoor swimming every sunday <laughs> um and That's that would just beautiful. be something i do and honestly guys i was freezing cold but I loved it. And afterwards, I'd shiver, I'd shiver, and I'd laugh. Because I just thought, I'm really cold, but also at the same time, like, I'm really happy. <laughs> and yeah. this is, feels really stupid. <laughs> like, I just swim swimming in the lake. It's not stupid. But, cold, cold water is very good for your health. Oh, it is, but, oh my god, like, it, it was mad. Um, I'm not sure you guys know, but I actually have a boyfriend. So his name is Freddy, and he is honestly, he's such a... He is honestly an angel. A legend. Um, yeah, Freddy is an angel. <laughs> um, now, don't go stalking Freddy because that'll be a little bit creepy. But uh, yeah, <laughs> for now, he's brilliant. But he definitely laughed at me when I was like, I've just gone outdoor swimming. And he was like, oh my God, are you weirdo? <laughs> but yeah. no, because he, I don't think he would have gone. But Freddy is also someone who's like got me through a lot in the last couple of months. Like he's just been there and like he's nothing's ever too much for him and he's just he's just adorable um yeah so shout out to freddie i've said freddie so much in this sentence but (laughs) no he deserves it thank you freddie thank you for making carly happy and telling her that she's worth the world oh telling her and showing her yeah no he he is adorable um 
Freddie's actually nuts, but um, <laughs> it's so strange that I haven't met him yet. I know you really need to. We should to. go for a drink. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah I'll I'll suggest just arrange it. the um, good night out. Yeah. <laughs> while oh, Freddie. Yeah. Oh, Freddie, if you're listening. <laughs> Freddie, if you're listening, if we haven't been out uh, before this podcast comes out. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Yeah, but apart from apart from Freddie and swimming, I also draw. So I actually digitally draw at the moment on like iPad, my iPad and Amazingly, stuff. Amazingly, just um, side note. Oh god, thank you. But maybe I'll post some of my drawings so you guys have a gander at. You never know. Um, um, can I just add something? I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you, but no, I just want to reinforce what you're saying. And Miss Carly here, Hello. this queen. She made one of the most beautiful CVs and cover letters I've ever seen, <laughs> literally, and it was just for a CV and cover letter. Can you imagine how amazingly she can draw? And just, okay, side note, if you go to uh, Carly's LinkedIn, you'll see, like, she has put, like, this nice um, cover I do. On, in her web, in her sa- in her page and uh, it's gorgeous and she has made it herself go check it out it's amazing yeah my name's Carly Griffiths by the way guys if you do want to stalk my LinkedIn do more that. than welcome <laughs> strongly suggest that but also Alizetta's LinkedIn is on point let me just add that no 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 no, 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 no. wait 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 she posts her articles on there she's always she's very snazzy so guys even though she says no please 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 check that out too uh, no what's, the, what's, your, what's your LinkedIn I mean, my name's Elzetta. If you type Elzetta, you'll find oh, me. Oh, yeah, Elzetta no, true. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah. uh, I don't suggest that. I need to update it. I still, like, I'm... I used to be very strong on LinkedIn. I was yeah. like, yeah. So there, there was this one time that Elizetta was like, I have 500 plus connections. And I'm like, I have 23 connections. Mm-hmm. So I basically stalked Elizetta and saw what type of people she was following, mm-hmm. copied her, and then was like, I do too now. Yeah. A couple of months later. Um, I mean, <laughs> but I was like, I need to blow my LinkedIn up. So uh, yeah, I used Elizetta's did... profile as a template for mine. As you should. I mean, no, I'm not. I mean, as you should. I didn't mean that. No, she is a queen to she find is people. right no, 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 no. <laughs> to find people i mean to find people because there were mm. lots of people from bath spa and like bristol yes. area so i think you did good because like um i was like searching different things yeah, yeah, yeah. so um yeah i've made like really nice connections and i talked with some people as well <laughs> because um, sometimes i click on a connection I'm like you're cool and then i click on their connections and i'm like oh they're cool too yeah and like, exactly sometimes that's, I'm like, how, that's how i find more connections Same, yeah but yeah no, so linkedin is actually one thing that also got me through lockdown building my profile making my profile as good as it can be mm-hmm. um and yeah just reading i love reading guys i'm not sure if you know that but i but i am so you know when people are, like obsessed to buying things like yeah. Elizetta used to buy like a Costa all the time but okay coming from my ass <laughs> but I'm obsessed with buying books so I buy like four books a week sometimes in lockdown I was buying like books and books and books and books and just reading them all in like two three days and I was like now I need more books but um let's calm down a little bit because actually now I have a stack of books I haven't read so I don't have to buy any more at the moment but also, sorry back to Freddie again, but Freddie has a bookshelf of books that I'm going to get through. So like, it's a goal for it, summer? For su- Oh, that's a good summer goal, actually. Freddie, if you're listening, I'm coming at your bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to read all the books in your bookshelf. Just be sure yourself. Yeah, 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 it's happening. Um, but, but that's a good, like, so many amazing things you do to just, like, cope with stress and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, oh my god, no. The fact that you were going on walks every single day, managing mm. time to clear your head, I think that's so important. Um, yeah, but, like, the circumstances were so different. Yeah, I don't think, I really hope, guys, that we're never going to be in the position where we have to do stuff like that to keep our mental health sane mm-hmm. ever again. But also, at the same time, I hope we've all learned something from lockdown. I think we did. Like, if you didn't, we had three lockdowns, maybe... How can you just like reflect <laughs> Where on have one you thing? Been? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unless you were just born. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, I was reading this tweet the other day that it was saying that there was from an employee in a coffee shop or yeah, a pub, yeah. and he comes down. A, a guy <laughs> comes inside the store without a mask, and like, sorry, you have to wear a mask. And he's like, Why should I wear a mask? And they're like, Sir, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. Like, and he he was in the mountains for months. 
and he didn't know what was going on and he was oh, no. genuinely confused and he was like i'm so sorry i didn't know i was up in the mountains i didn't have any communication with anything i'm really sorry and i was like what the hell can you imagine being away and coming back into something like this i mean i would love to just like see it i would love <gasps> to just be in one side of the road and seeing this whole interaction taking place because it looks like a massive landslide that's gone wrong yeah or someone <laughs> has lost their mind yeah literally looks like someone's just gone let's shut down the country yeah. <laughs> and this is just crazy oh my god let's shut down the world like yeah but oh my god it's insane well, but i applaud that man <laughs> yeah kind of jealous you know oh, i yeah, wish i didn't know what was going on i really i really <laughs> do um oh. but yeah things were different the lockdown honestly it's gonna sound very strange to say that, but mm-hmm. I started feeling like a very horrible thing. Mm-hmm. I had to fly back to Greece and I spent so many months back and I felt like my life was like stuck and yeah. I hated it. But I feel like if I didn't have that time to sit down, reflect, take a breather and actually take some time because I did lots of stuff for myself during the first lockdown mm-hmm. and then when i came back here i was like a completely different person and then my reflection is and i would like to hear yours as well carly is that you never know how strong you are until i I read that somewhere it's not my quote but it's something that that reflect like you never know how strong you are until being Mm -hmm. strong is the only choice you have yeah so just that i was lucky enough to have loving parents who took care of me Mm -hmm. and even though I am, oh, I don't want to say that, I'm 20, but <laughs> back then, back then, I was still 18, so don't, mm-hmm. don't come for me. I, I, my birthday is 7th of May, and uh, my 19th were back in Greece, and now my 20th were a few weeks ago, but we don't talk about that. I hate that I'm 20, but anyway. I'm going to be 22 soon. I feel old. Girly girl, <laughs> don't, don't, you're a legend, don't. <laughs> 22 um, is not that bad. I feel like it's a very fun age. You're saying 22 is not that bad yet. You're having a crisis of being Yeah, 20. because I just lost the one in my age. <laughs> I lost true. it. That's it's true. It's gone. It's never coming I, back. No, you will. You'll have 21, 31, 41. Wait. <laughs> I never thought about that. Thank you for the comfort. Okay, another, t- another year. I'm just going to be like I'm 12, which is more likely because <laughs> yeah. that's how I behave. I'm like a 12-year-old. Um, <sighs> but yeah, it's just like uh, I was very lucky and I'm very grateful for my parents, mm-hmm. for my friends uh, i'm gonna do a shout out to um chris my best friend my soulmate in moscow i Aww. love you i'm sending you so much love hugs and so much power you hi, got chris. this <laughs> hi chris we love you uh i want to say thank you to alexandra mm-hmm. and despina and bethany my housemates i love you guys so much mm. i want to say thank you to my beautiful wonderful parents uh to my man connor i love you connor <laughs> We love Connor. Um, and uh, yeah. And every other person who supported me, my friend Naya, Futini, Anna, they were really there for me. And uh, they were my rocks. And I mm. love them so much. Agiliki. She's never going to hear them. They're never going to listen to this podcast. But I just want to say that I'm eternally grateful for you. And I love you with all my heart. I would take a bullet for you guys. So. Um, why am I, why do I want to cry right now? No, I don't. But um, I'm very grateful and I love you. And thank you for being part of my life. And you're very special to me. Very, very special. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I just feel that, oh no, that's really great. Like, I'm really glad you have these people in your life. It's so, so important to have, just to recognize that you have these people. Like, you've just listed all these names. And last week, if I was like, who have you got? You'd be like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> and I just think, like, you realise that you do have these people. You can probably reach out to these yeah. people. And it's, uh, sorry, just to interrupt, it's usually when you go out of the dark times is when you realise mm-hmm. who's actually there for you, who's not. Also, I want to mention, I forgot to mention my sister, uh, which uh, we always had, like, a strange relationship. But I feel like now that... W- we are both growing up and we're maturing. We are coming together. So oh, I love so you, glad. Christina. And I hope you listen to this podcast. And uh, I'm glad that our relationship is getting better. <laughs> just just want to say that. <laughs> oh, no, I'm glad for that, too. Yeah, because at the start, like, I didn't even know you had a sister until a couple months <laughs> into this podcast. 
I was, and then don't I was tell like, her that. Oh no, no, no! But now I'm like, oh my god! Yeah, no, it's great. No, it wasn't a secret. Hi, Christine, if you are listening, <laughs> it was more of a just. We didn't really ask questions like that, and then we got to know each other a bit more. Oh, actually, Lizetta, I'm very grateful for you. I have got through this entire you, thing with you, my lady. So thank you very, thank very much. Thank you. And uh, I think I thought we were saved like the thank you for each other at the end, but. If you want to talk about it now, um, I'm going to have, like, a special segment for you, baby. Oh, no. So, <laughs> that, Molly yeah. Griffiths, you are a legendary person. Never doubt yourself. You're so talented. So talented. I wish I could curse. Um, you're so talented and amazing. And you have such a good heart. And you're a good person. You're you're so pure. You have pure just intention. Have cry. No, don't cry. <laughs> this is honest. Uh-huh. And you are incredible. You're passionate. You're talented. You are just one of the kind. Oh you say God. Freddy's an angel. You are an angel. Oh. You are a freaking angel. I cannot <laughs> curse. Oh. Um, but <laughs> I'm, I'm stopping so, my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I'm so grateful. You have been oh. like an incredible part of my life you have changed me in so many ways you'll never know and you'll never understand and i'm not making this about me but you're very important and i value you're like a diamond and i wish i wish all the good things to happen in your life i just i know you're saying all these things they're so kind and but I just need you to realize that everything you're saying is such a reflection of yourself. Yeah. You are no, I pro- I no. literally promise you are you are amazing. You are very no. very talented. No. You always try your best and you go above and beyond for everyone. You are literally amazing. You really really do. You never ever say no, which is something you need to start doing all the time. Um, <laughs> you know, lots of times. No, 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 no but you like never actually thing. mean it. <laughs> but you just I don't know. You put your you put yourself last and I really wish you start putting yourself first because I think Alizetta needs to be held up like a queen she is a queen actually guys this is a bit of like bit of a personal information she'll text me she'll be like hi queen <laughs> she yeah. needs she's queen too <laughs> no. she needs to remember no. that she does you are amazing and I love you very much I love you too thank you so much for being part of this amazing journey no, thank you and thank you for like not meeting me and going what is this here <laughs> thank you very much for that <laughs> oh my god Aww. i'm so grateful and we had our thanking do you have anything you want to share any reflections um, anything i just i just think as much as as much as we're going through things right now i just want people to know that i am grateful for a lot of things and a lot of people um and i just i don't know and i'm grateful for you guys listening yeah. like really really am but i just yeah <laughs> sorry i feel very emotional <laughs> yeah. now guys uh i just want to say that um we are very grateful and we mm-hmm. cannot thank you enough and we cannot thank i'm just gonna say that for you as well because i know we have discussed that before we're grateful for our friends who have been here with mm-hmm. us throughout this year it has been very difficult it has. our parents our families in general mm-hmm. and uh, everyone and everyone everyone and anyone who's listening actually thank you even if you've just picked up the podcast this week our final week yeah. we are grateful that you've tuned in <laughs> thank you so much and uh, we hope you find some comfort in our words this is has been one of the it's a long episode but it's been the most honest we've ever been with, our, with so... each other with ourselves and with you i feel so happy now that we've done this episode same i feel like I was able, this is the type of episode we wanted from the beginning. And now, finally, we've got it. And I can't thank, the, I can't thank this opportunity enough. Yeah. Even though we weren't doing that for the past few weeks, we are doing a huge one right now mm-hmm. just to explain everything and anything and just be honest. Yeah, being honest. Um, and it feels good. It feels very good. I feel like I just like... You know, when you take a shower and you come outside and you're like, ah, I'm fresh. clean, I'm fresh, and I'm feeling fine. Brilliant. So that's how I feel like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. I think this is the end. I think we're going to start wrapping it up now, guys. Um, 
Just a quick thing, we're not going to go through all our social medias. You know where we are and you know where to find us. But please remember, you're more than welcome to do that. You're more than welcome to reach out and find us. Exactly. Um, I'm just going to mention that one last time. Coffee Mug Podcast with an A. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. You'll find us there. And you can reach to us individually, Carly Griffiths and Elizetta. And it's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you so much for this opportunity and we love you. Thank you and see you another time. See you another time. <laughs>